Hello there, YouTubers, subscribers, and whatnot. Today, I'm going to give you a demonstration of Windows 98 First Edition in VMware Fusion. Now, five years ago on YouTube, I made a video on Windows 98 Second Edition. It was on my PC using a virtual PC 2007. And a commenter, YouTube user Blackbird, asked us to see Windows 98 First Edition working. So, today, I'm going to go ahead and demo it to you and also I'm going to see if I can install Windows 98 plus and show you all the different themes and stuff so this may be a long video but without any further ado let's go ahead and run the virtual machine so you go get the play button there get VMware and uh, Windows 98 the Windows 98 logo. And uh, should be loading soon. There's the mouse cursor. And here is the network password, as you can see. So go ahead and click OK. There you go, that is the startup chime. Very, very familiar to Windows 98. And this is the desktop I have. As you can see, I've installed um, Opera and also 7-Zip, which is not shown here. But I've pretty much less left this alone. Um, as you can see, this is the channel uh, section or whatever it's called. And um, as you can see, looks okay. Now I'll show you Winver. As you can see, Windows 98, copyright 1981-1998, Microsoft Corporation. And also we go to my computer. Well, this isn't a real computer running Windows 98, is what I'm basically trying to say. But as you can see, it looks okay. Let's see, it's registered to me on VMware Fusion, and yeah, now it does come with IE4, and um, I installed IE6, and also Opera as a modern browser, and I'll show you that in a sec, because you can sort of play YouTube videos, but not very well, but I'll show you that in a minute. So, as you can see, here's the Explorer pretty much the same to Windows 98 second edition and uh, here's my computer and I've got the disk in for the Windows 98 installation disk and there you go and um, yeah as you can see you have an interactive CD sampler you've got cool video clips advertisements for different stuff like games and all that, all that other things like that. As you can see, this is the intro. You may, may well be familiar. Where do you want to go today? And there's no sound. Or at least of what I'm hearing, there isn't sound. But as you can see, that's the video. You may well no Windows 98 for or something like that, I don't know <coughs> okay anyway that is that, so that is the disk and you have a uh, different in um, software you can see that's the C drive and um, here's the control panel and as you can see Looks okay. I'm going to show you desktop themes now. Um, the ones that come with the compute um, come with Windows 98. And in a moment, I'll show you. Um, I will show you plus 98, and we'll actually install that live. So one of my favorites is probably inside your computer. As you can see, 
and change all the different sounds. As you can hear. And yeah, so that is some of the sound in inside your computer. Now, there's, now it, it also comes with a screensaver. As you can see, as you can see, there's a circuit board with uh, different capac capacitors and other components flying around the screen. Very, very interesting screensaver. So also there is there is a start up and shut down sounds. Here's the exit sound. And there you go. Another one of my favorite themes is Windows more Windows. As you can see, it's very quick to change, or well, may not be very quick, but it's still quite quick to change the theme. As you can hear. As you can so that's some of the sounds. And finally, I will show you science. It's a pretty interesting theme. And there's a notepad. So there you go, that's Notepad. So you can hear the different sounds of this theme. And there you go, that's some of the themes. Well, actually, I might keep this one for the duration of, of the video. <coughs> Until we st install Plus98. But before we install Plus98, I'll show you Internet Explorer 6. Although it does come with IE4, but you can upgrade it to IE6. And here is the version. 2600. And um, it isn't too usable today. But um, back in, say, I don't know, 2005 or something, it is kind of usable. It was kind of usable back then. And Search Windows 98, actually, search Windows 8 into Google. As you can see, Google has a, Google has a completely different layout to what they normally have. In, with Internet Explorer 6, anyway. As you can see. So, I installed Opera, which is still old, but, but it is quite modern. Well, at least for Windows 98. And this version of Opera is Opera 1010, the last version supported. Um, you can install 10.6 or higher. You can install higher versions of Opera if you wish by installing a program called Kernel EX, which allows for newer programs running on 2000 and XP to be installed on 98. So you can, in fact, run Firefox if you want on Windows 98, the latest version of Firefox. So anyway, I'm going to show you YouTube because it plays okay on, at least on Windows 98, but uh, it only plays at 240p. So I'm going to load this video. <laughs> MKPHD. As you can see. Just gonna get the volume 
things up. Getting the wrong one set. It's going to load the ad. As you can see, it is at 240p only. Because in 360p, it just doesn't this play. Week, Lenovo bought Motorola. See, um, 360p doesn't play and HD. Well, <laughs> that'll be just a joke. <laughs> but anyway, we'll check. We'll check out this Marquez Marquez's latest video on Google selling Motorola. This week, Lenovo bought Motorola from Google for 2.91 billion dollars. Now, in case you forgot. Google just finished buying Motorola Mobility in 2012 for $12 billion. This is something that needs explaining. Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. Now as disclosure, a lot of the details of this deal are private, and I'm not going to disclose Let's try full screen. that's supposed to be private, obviously, but I have been in contact with works. Motorola, as a lot of you guys know. But uh, of course it's in 240p and it looks very pixelated. <laughs> And as you know, Marquez loves pixels. As you can see, only 240p is available. But yeah, there you go. So YouTube does in fact play in Windows 98, sort of. At least today, anyway. Uh, the comments don't seem to work, at least on Opera anyway. And the layout is kind of weird. But anyway, that is YouTube on Opera in Windows 98. So now I'm going to go ahead and install Plus 98 and show you some of the themes that come with it. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, and we're back. So now we're going to go ahead and install Plus 98. You can see we're at the Setup Wizard. And I uh, need the CD key, and I've got that here on my iPhone. Just give me a second here. There you go. Okay, so it's asking us to scan the system for viruses. Well, I mean, it's asking, right, so it's asking to install virus scan, the Cappy virus scan, so we're not going to do that. Custom will do. So got the deluxe CD player, desktop themes, disc cleanup, Golf 1998 Lite. Lose your marbles. You have a maintenance wizard, organic art screensaver, picture express, picture it express, spider solitaire, and virus scan. So 205 megabytes. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, I've never actually done a video on Plus 98 before on my channel. I think, as far as I know, I have provided a link to it in that second edition video because um, Mega Upload had shut, shut it down. Mega Upload had shut down, and uh, all the links for my virtual PC videos had gone. <coughs> So I couldn't attain them, and I found this one from another YouTuber, I've forgotten the name. And um, he also had a copy of Plus 98 bundled with it, I think, I'm not entirely sure. And I just basically just provided the link in my video, and, and, then, it was, and then the link became, the link was then dead again. And I had to attain the link from WinWorld PC, which is kind of a bit of a pain. But anyway, it's the setup. And our computer has to be restarted. I have no idea why this is still here. Come on, go away. Go away. You. Oh, there we go. So you get the Windows 98 Plus boot. Um, boot 
screen. And we're loading into the desktop. Now it's updating the system settings. And as you can see, with the uh, drums and the sticks. It's kind of a very interesting uh, animation. And the, the way Windows 98 does that, it's kind of interesting anyway. Okay then, Plus 98 setup is complete. Com complete. Let's go ahead and configure the desktop theme. So we got loads of different desktop themes. Get from no, that comes with another theme. You have uh, different stuff like architecture, Kathy. You got a uh, cityscape and Corbis photography. Dangerous. Oh no, it comes with Windows. <laughs> you got Doonesbury, falling leaves, fashion, foxtrot. You have Garfield. And uh, you have all these different kinds of themes. Oh, I just applied it accidentally. <laughs> just accidentally applied it. But anyway. There's the Garfield theme kind of running a bit weirdly. Let me just uh, change the theme again. You can see it changes some of the sounds. There you go. So, I think one of my favourite themes of Windows Plus 98 is going to be Windows 98, Windows 98 High Colour. This one is quite interesting. There you are. I don't know why that's appeared on the desktop, but I really like this theme actually. Especially the shutdown sound. Um, I'll, I'll show you that. Go ahead and show you that. The shutdown sound sounds really good, I like it. For some reason, I don't know why. But um, these themes are actually interesting. And uh, ah, another one of my favorite themes is Cityscape. Because I just like the background, it's very 3D. As you can see, the mouse cursor is kind of weird. It has most of the same sounds of 98, but the uh, Windows 98 high color theme. And also, look, it changes this bit here, the um, sort of preview thing, which is very interesting. Okay. So finally, to finish off this this video, I'm going to show you some games that come with Plus 98. And one of them is Lose Your Marbles. As you can see, it changes the resolution. Here's the start screen. And we don't have a mouse cursor, it's just you pretty much navigate either through the keyboard or the, or the, the mouse. Even though there isn't a mouse cursor, you just sort of swipe up and down. Or move up and down if you're using an actual mouse, which I'm just using a trackpad on my MacBook. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the game. As you can hear, my MacBook fan is spinning up. Well, you can sort of hear it. Anyway, let's do skill one. A 
As you can see, this is the help. And this um, is just showing the tutorial how to play. And uh, you can see, use the left and right arrow keys to move the cursor, which is the circle around the uh, marble. And uh, use the up and down arrow keys to slide the columns. If a column will not move, you hear a nasty buzzer. the space bar to rotate the center row. Pretty much the aim of the game, I think, is you have to get a four in a row in the center row. Actually, I don't know. To clear the marbles, you have to match three or more in the center row. So that's pretty much the aim of the game, is to match the marbles in the center row. Let's see, you can get combos pretty cool and there you go so that is marble lose your marbles there you go that's the light it's the light version so here's organic art here's a really interesting screensaver called organic arts and it's very interesting it shows different different sort of artworks computer artworks and stuff it shows different kinds of different selections of screensavers and it's pretty cool and I like it this one's very nice actually Let's see if we can get another one this one's pretty nice too it's using 3D to uh, render the screensavers. And there's a lot more screensavers. Like, uh, there's one for rock and roll. Which is very nice. I like these screensavers. It's really cool. And these are some of the de default ones in 98. Here's the Windows 98 high cover, which doesn't really load, but you can sort of see it there. So, go ahead and show you one more screensaver. Go ahead and show you. Foxtrot. Go ahead and show you architecture. There you go, that's architecture. And it's pretty nice. So that is some of the screensavers. Now I can't show you Golf 1998. I think don't think it works. Let's see. Let's see if it works. I, I don't really know. Uh, legal operation. Yeah, yeah, so the game doesn't... Golf 1998 doesn't seem to run. At least on here. And finally, to finish off the video... I know I said that earlier, but... To finish off the video... 
have a look at the deluxe CD player. As you can see, very, very nice. Um, in fact, let me see if I can get a CD working in this thing. Alright, so the CD's playing, but you can't hear anything. But uh, that's okay, because um, if I play it, I might get kicked off of YouTube for copyright reasons. Because, <laughs> in fact, this is a copyright CD. Um, now 85, but I'll just show you what the interface looks like anyway. And as you can see, it's really nice. Now, now this exact CD player came with Windows 2000, and uh, yeah, it's a tiny view, the normal view. As you can see, this is the about information. And yeah, so that's the CD player. I'll just go ahead and eject it. Um, it just seems to... Let me just eject it from here. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my demonstration of Windows 98 and Plus 98. Windows 98 First Edition. So, thank you. So thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.